This is the Carl Gustav 84mm rocket launcher. And this is a weapon that has made Sweden, the country of its origin, proud by proving its versatility, effectiveness and devastating power. It has been with the Indian Army since 1976, so that's 48 years. And uh, the weapon has uh, proved its efficacy time and time again. And it has seen action right from uh, Sri Lanka to Kargil. And of course, in India now, it has uh, been put to use in uh, counter-insurgency and uh, counter-terrorist operations also. Originally, it was meant to be an anti-tank weapon but uh, its usage has changed over time and especially more so in the Indian context. There are four primary versions of this rocket launcher, the M1, M2, M3, M4. So this one is the M3 version and the M4 is the latest in a variant with uh, certain upgrades like better sighting system, uh, etc. Et Uh, well, this weapon has its disadvantages also. For example, there's a lot of you know, back blast. It's huge. No one can stand when the weapon is fired. And the other point is the sound, the booming sound. Because that, in a way, blows up your cover also during operations. What is interesting is that for the first time, this weapon will now be produced in India. It's from a facility in Jajar in Haryana. Where this, and this for the first time that the weapon will be moving, the production will be moving away from Sweden. And from the Jajar, uh, from the facility in Jajar, now uh, it will be exported, it will be supplied to whoever wants the weapons. It is also for the first time in India that a 100% foreign owned entity, a company, is coming to produce military weapons. The week spoke to a number of army veterans who have used these weapons in the past. And it's with a sense of nostalgia that they talk about it. And they have been quite effusive in its praise.